Hello, my name is Sadna. I am a technical marketing engineer with the Microsoft Business Unit at NetApp. In this demo today, we will see how to install the on-command plugin for Microsoft 3.0 and also how to add a NetApp storage controller. Let's start with the installer. The OCPM installation wizard is pretty straightforward. The first screen, as you can see, is the welcome screen. And then when I click on next, I see the end user license agreement. Click on I accept and then click on next. This is a screen where you can choose the location where you want the on-command plugin to be installed. By default, it's C program files NetApp. This is a screen where you can choose the features that needs to be installed as a part of the OCPM. First is a SCOM management pack. We have management packs for storage monitoring, Hyper-V storage monitoring and management, and also the Metro cluster monitoring and management. Each of these features in turn contain the reporting components. Then we have the partial commandlets. The partial commandlets are available for cloning and rapid provisioning and also the disaster recovery. We have the Opalis integration packs that's also available for cloning and provisioning and disaster recovery. The on-command plugin Vim Web Services is required for the partial commandlets and the OIPs to work. Then we have the documentation and the discovery agent. Each of these features could be disabled or they, uh, by default they are available for installation. Once you have chosen the features to be installed, click on Next. In the next screen, please specify the user credentials and the port for web services. By default, 808 is a port that's used for web services. You can click on Next once you're done. These are the inputs that are required for the OCPM install. In the next screen, you could just click on install to continue with the installation. The installation will now continue. It will copy the new files. It will create a new shortcut on the desktop. It will also install the services and restart the services. There you can see the desktop, uh, there's a shortcut for the on-command commandlets. One interesting part about OCPM 3.0 is it will import uh, the management packs into the system center console automatically. Installation is almost done. Yes. Uh, you can click on finish and the installation is completed. Now if we open the system center operations manager console uh, under administration, uh, you can actually search for the on-command uh, management packs that got imported. Uh, click on management packs under administration and uh, uh, if you search for on-command in the look for uh, text box, and click on find now. Uh, it will filter out the on-command management packs that got installed as a part of OCPM installation. Uh, there you can see. Uh, now you can uh, move to monitoring and uh, you would see the storage systems uh, item under the data on tap. And there are a bunch of objects that, ca that are monitored uh, using the storage systems uh, management pack that got imported. And we have the virtualization item right there. Uh, that's part of the virtualization management pack that uh, again got imported through the OCPM. So once we have the management packs imported, uh, let's uh, click on the change target type under the discovered inventory to see what are the tasks that are enabled by the management packs. In order to do this, uh, click on change target type and uh, uh, select view all targets. Look for management server. Uh, there, yeah, select the management server and uh, click on OK. Uh, once you do this, uh, you can actually uh, check the right pane. Uh, you would see the service tasks pop up there, yes. Uh, so you have a bunch of tasks that are uh, enabled by the uh, data on tap um, uh, management packs that uh, we imported through OCPM. Okay, uh, so let's start with adding a controller. Uh, that's our primary task. So I'm going to click on data on tap add controller. Uh, I can enter the management server name, SNMP, community string, and also the name or address. So I'm going to give uh, the IP address for the controller that I need to monitor. I'm going to uh, select add, uh, uh, click on add. This will queue up a task in my uh, task manager and I'm going to click on the task status to see if, if it has been completed. Yes, first item that you see there, uh, that's the one that 
uh, corresponds to the add controller task. So once uh, I've added the controller, I need to uh, discover this controller. So I'm going to go back to the discovered inventory section and run the discover task. Yes, uh, we don't have run discovery task. Uh, you can click on OK here. This is the task status. Uh, you could close this and check the task status from uh, the pane there. So this will again queue up the task and uh, uh, it will take a couple of seconds to run the discovery task. There it's uh, changed to success, uh, which means that uh, the inventory has been discovered. Now uh, that the storage controller is added, we need to go and uh, manage the credentials for the controller. So there you see the uh, file one added there, uh, but then it's not a valid connection because the credentials are not right. So let's go and add the username and password. Uh, this does not require HTTPS, so I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, I'll click on apply and OK. So once this is done, my controller will be added. Uh, in order to check that, let's go and uh, click on controllers under the storage systems item there. There you see uh, the warning status there. Uh, that corresponds to the controller that we just added. You could check the details. Um, yeah, the system config that comes up there. Uh, you could check the health uh, status by clicking on the health explorer on the right pane. Uh, there are a bunch of options that you could uh, go and check. Uh, let's select the HA status monitor, for example. Uh, you could see on the right pane there's a summary configuration and resolution section. So if there is any warning, you could go and check that. Uh, there's also the state change events uh, pane right there. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, that's how we add a controller and monitor uh, NetApp storage controller. Thank you.